Dre, hello. Hello. Dre, <laughs> up in here. Now, yeah, Dre, what's, up, big? what's going on, bro? Dre, let me tell you, man. For one, when we got the announcement of the Super Bowl, we thought that was large, Dre. And then when y'all dropped that you're going to be performing during halftime, Dre, that was like the shot that was heard all around the world, bro. Yeah, man, it's really exciting. And several people were banging me over the head about it, Snoop being one of them, about doing the show. And, of course, I was extremely, and I'm, I still am extremely nervous about it, but I'm excited about it at the same time, man. And we've been working hard to put together a fantastic show. The first time they're allowing hip-hop yeah. artists to headline the Super Bowl and we're getting ready to go at it. And we know we're going to open the door for other hip-hop artists to be able to do Super Bowl halftime shows in the future. Hey, Dre, let me ask you this, man. How long is the performance? Usually it's about 12 to 15 minutes, right? Well, normally they allow 11 minutes, but they gave us north of 13 minutes to do our thing. Hey, man, with such a vast catalog and then the people that you bring in with, Snoop, Kendrick, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and, of course, Dr. Dre, how do you pick what songs we'll hear during the Pepsi Halftime Super Bowl show? Well, because of the lack of time, it's like it makes it kind of easy. We're just going to go right to the hits, to the heavy hitters, get in, have a great time up there, excite the fans and excite the people and get out. This is probably going to be a springboard for some of the things that's going to happen in the future that we have planned. Do you know what songs you're performing already? Or are you still going through a list? Yeah, no, we all got together and everybody's really comfortable with the song selection. We know exactly what we're going to do. We have an amazing music director, Adam Blackstone. He's over the top with it. Everybody's really excited about the song selection. It's time for the rehearsals to start. Hey, man, how do you pick, like, who's going to be with you to share that time? And it sounds like, oh, yeah, Eminem, of course, Kendrick Lamar, of course, Mary J. Blige, of course, Snoop Dogg, of course. But there's so many others. You know what I'm saying? Like, was it hard for you to say, man, I could not do the Super Bowl halftime with Pepsi. You could damn near perform for the whole time of the Super Bowl game. Yeah, of course it's difficult, Big, but we can't because of the lack of time. Right. You know, we're here. Everybody's really excited about it. And I think the artists that didn't get a chance to perform with us are going to appreciate it as well. Yeah, man. Hey, Dre, let me ask you, why is this special for Los Angeles? I mean, come on, man. New stadium. SoFi. Have you been to SoFi? Yes, I have, bro. Dre, it probably didn't mean anything to you. I hung out with you at SoFi, Dre. Remember, I was the... just, I was just, just making sure you remember that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but uh, it's amazing. It's the best stadium I've ever walked in. That and, of course, we're rooting for the Rams to play. It's like that's my dream for the Rams to be in the Super Bowl on the night that we're performing. Super Bowl here in Los Angeles is just, man, that would make the dream come true. That would be over the top. You could have called anybody in the world, man. Dre, why did you call me? Come on, Big. You know you're my brother, man. Yeah. You know, you know what it is outside of this radio thing and off the air and whatever. You're my brother, man, and I love you. Hey, man, you said exactly what I wanted you to say. Thank you so much. I'll just lay it out. But, Dre, I'm going to let you go ahead and do what you have no, to do. No, I'm not trying to be generic or anything like that, Big. You know I mean that. No, I know you do, man. And, you know, for one, Dre, when I ask you to speak at my star, Dre, you got to think, homie, I'm like a fan first. I paid to go see, you know, Wrecking Crew and Dr. Dre and concerts. And, you don't know, I went to... You know, the skating rink, I did it all. So to fast forward to that, Dre, and I'm looking at Dr. Dre, talk to the world about my getting a star and my family is there, bro. Just asking you, Dre, when you was like, yeah, I couldn't believe that you said yes. And the relationship that we I have, bro. I couldn't say no, big. I, I couldn't say no to that. Man, you I, know, I don't even like public speaking or anything like that, man. I'm terrified of that, you yeah. know, some career choice. Right. But, right. you know, I couldn't say no to you, bro. Man, I appreciate you, Dre, man. And thank Let's you. Let's get off the phone, man. It's getting mushy. Yeah, yeah, it is, man. Yeah, it is. So, you know what I'm saying? But not nah. violins, man. What's yeah. this? <laughs> hey, Dre, but I appreciate you, man. And I'm going to catch up with you, my brother. You be good. All right. All right. You too, big. There Peace. it is, man. Y'all continue to hang out with us, big boys neighborhood.